Hi, my name is Brittany Jepson, and I am the founder of The House That Lars Built. Craft and decor for the holidays is one of my favorite ways to get into the spirit of the season. And this year, I'm starting with ornaments. I design the shapes using a honeycomb technique that I put into my Cricut machine. Then I added in some Michaels ornaments to give them a whimsical stacking effect. Topped with a bow, and they are perfectly celebratory and one of a kind. I'm gonna start out by painting my ornament first so that it has time to dry by the time I'm doing the other steps. So I'm gonna pour some paint on and get painting. I like the painterly look, but if you want it to be totally opaque, then you might need to do a few layers. Next, with your variety of unfinished wood beads, paint them in the colors that you'd like. I did a combination of pinks and reds and greens and chartreuse, so you can have fun with that part. Now it's time to Cricut. I'm gonna put my cardstock on my mat and I'm going to <gasps> scrape it so it's super tight on the mat. And now I'm gonna turn to my Cricut design space. I'm gonna do this first one right here. I need to make 50, and you can see that it says one, two, three pages. So I'm gonna continue. Now is the fun moment where we get to peel off our work. It might be nice to take them off by hand a little bit. So they'll look like this when they're off. To make the honeycomb shape, you start by gluing a little bit down the middle and putting two pieces together. The next one, you won't put it down the middle, you'll put the glue on two sides of the center. The next one on top, you'll put it down the middle again. And it'll be an ABAB pattern. So right now you can see the beginnings of a honeycomb. You just have to keep on going. There'll be 50 in total. Now is probably the most satisfying time where I'm going to connect the two sides together. First, I'm going to apply a ton of glue onto the spine. You might use the majority of your glue stick just doing this. I'm gonna give it a good squeeze and hold it. You could even clamp it with a clamp if you wanted to. Once it's nearly dry or completely dry, bring the two sides together and I'm going to do the last little connection. And I have a complete honeycomb. I'm gonna create a hole in the bottom of my ornament with a little drill bit. I'm gonna start the stacking by creating a knot at the bottom of the embroidery floss. So I'm gonna take this little bitty quarter size and I'm gonna have it come through in the middle of it. I'm gonna apply some glue inside so that it stays super secure. And then I'm going to put the needle through the bottom of my honeycomb. Next, I'm gonna string on my wood disc and then my pink bead. I'm gonna bring it through my ornament and then I'm going to glue the embroidery thread to the side of the ornament top so that it doesn't wiggle around and then slide the ornament top on. And then I'm going to tie a knot to the hook at the top of the ornament. I'm going to top it off with my ribbon garnish. And here we are. This is my whimsical stacked Christmas ornament made by Brittany.